Hi, I'm Carrie Rinker. I'm a family lawyer who also practices food and agriculture law. So in other words, I do both horses and divorces. I have offices both in New York and in Illinois. And today I'm gonna to be talking to you a little bit about virtual mediation. So here are three things to keep in mind. Number one, virtual mediation is like regular mediation, except it is performed virtually using Zoom, go to meeting or other video conference technologies such as Skype. I have been performing this during the pandemic and it's actually been quite a, a great way to resolve the disputes outside of the courthouse. Number two, mediation is and continues to be a confidential process. Mediators will not be recording these sessions. And then furthermore, breakout rooms can be used with technologies such as Zoom, where the mediator is able to conference privately with the mediation participants. If Zoom is not used, perhaps a good old fashioned phone call could also be used at the same time, so the mediator can still have that one-to-one -one conversation which eat with each of the parties. And number three, the mediation process is still the same, whether or not you're doing it in person or via video conference technology. The mediator is still there to facilitate a conversation. They're still able to use the same practice areas and go through the, the process like, like you would if in an in-person mediation session. I encourage you to explore virtual mediation to help resolve your dispute, whether or not it's family law related, business, agricultural related or other types of disputes. Again, this is Kara Rinker and for more information, you can visit my website at www.rinkerlaw.com. Thanks.